New artwork is in progress in downtown Marquette. Maya Tavanati and her team with the Power of Words project are working hard to add some color to the Be Well building on the corner of 3rd and Ohio. Take a look. Marquette residents and visitors may have noticed painters and scaffolding on 3rd Street over the past few days. Maya Tavanati has been working with her crew of painters at the Be Well building on the corner of 3rd and Ohio. Their goal? To bring a new mural to downtown Marquette. The Power of Words project is a humanitarian mural campaign designed to plant seeds of inspiration in communities. Uh, mainly they're designed to help revitalize historic downtowns. So the mural we're currently working on is called Natural and about 1,500 people in the Marquette community nominated and then voted on a word that defines their vision for the future of their community. What do they want their community to aspire to? What do they want more of? And they elected the word natural. So essentially we have a mother nature figure and everything kind of is growing out of her. She has a an eagle's nest on her head, um, which is full of butterflies and critters. Originally from Iron Mountain, Tavanati partners with community leaders, including city governments, businesses, and local arts organizations to bring murals to communities. She works with the city on a theme, designs the mural herself, then puts a team of artists on the job. She sometimes even provides grants to local artists. When we purchased this building many years ago, I mean, right from the very get-go, you know, I just saw this huge blank slate and was like, wow, we need to put a mural there. Um, and so I originally reached out to Marquette Arts and Culture um, and Tina Harris and was like, hey, do you know muralists? How can we make this happen? Um, and she was the one that told me about the um, Power of Words project. Murals are just about beauty and play and why not, you know, have a smile on your face as you drive by and see beautiful, fun things. Overall, I just want I want to design something really organic feeling, something that can engage the community, get them talking, and really just to make them feel better, to smile. You know, beauty combined with the power of words, you know, you take, you take one word and you reinforce that with a monumental work of art, and it's transformative. The Be Well mural is no small accomplishment. The muralists have just 19 days to complete the approximately 26 by 58 foot piece. Tavanati says the effort to create murals requires more than just artists. Funding comes from local donors, patronicity fundraisers, grants from organizations like the Michigan Economic Development Council, and more. Understand that, you know, this is not a city funded project. It is the hard work of fundraising. We had a lot of donors, local donors. So there's a lot of money coming from out of the area. There's a lot of local sponsors. They buy our lunches. A lot of people putting a lot of time and effort into this in addition to the artists. It's not just the people on the mural who have been engaged in this creative process. To make something like this happen, it takes a lot of people. And feeding my team is very important. And if you really want to see more murals in the community, that's what it takes. It takes donations, it takes fundraising, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of preparation. The muralists have less than one week remaining to complete their painting. You can view the piece at the corner of Ohio Street and Front Street. Thanks for watching ABC 10 News on YouTube. To get the latest Upper Peninsula news, sports, and weather, make sure to subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook.